Hey, James. Hi, Charles. You, you kind of briefly touched on the expect the personal expectations and the hype that kind of swirl around Saquon. And I guess in our interactions with him the last couple of years, it doesn't really seem like that stuff phases him or gets to him. Why do you think that is? I, I, think, I think part of it is that's kind of who Saquon is in his heart and in his soul. I would also say that his parents – have really done a, a great job of that. You know, his, I, I love his parents. I love, uh, you know, his family, his upbringing. The honesty in that home uh, is impressive. I mean, you look at the interviews that they've done. They are very honest. They are very direct. Um, and to be honest with you, they have never made football a thing that defines Saquon or defines their family. They've, they've stayed very level-headed. Now, are they aware of, of Saquon's talent and Saquon's future and Saquon's opportunities? Yes. And they've worked very hard at doing research on their own and, and, and with us as well about what those things are. But, but you know, Saquon, you know, um, I think that's probably the thing that our team respects the most about Saquon is, is how he has handled – the success really from day one at a, at, a, at a very early age, at a very early part of his career, there was buzz since that hurdle at Buffalo, you know, excuse me, in the Buffalo game. There's been a buzz about him, and he's handled it really well, better than I would have ever handled it at that age. There's no doubt about it. And I think, I think that's where he kind of, you know, has earned everybody's respect and I also think, you know, there's just such a humility to him and almost and I don't want this to come off the wrong way. And Saquon's mom and dad are probably going to watch this and see this. And so is Saquon. And I don't want him them to misinterpret this, but it's almost like he is naive to how people see him and react. It's like he's unaware of it. And I think sometimes when you use the word naive, it comes off in a negative way. But I almost it's. It's a positive for him because it's like he does not have a true understanding of the significance of it, you know. Um, and even like when we do the poster give out and he's getting like assaulted on the street and it doesn't it doesn't really phase him. He has great interactions with every person he comes in contact with and then he gets on the bus and the players give him a hard time and he just kind of stays true to who he is. So. You know, I think that's a credit to Saquon. I think that's a credit to Saquon's uh, uh, family. I think it's a credit to the community that he, that he grew up in, um, and I think it's a credit to his teammates here at Penn State. You know, so um, special. Thanks. Thank you very much, Coach. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Appreciate we'll y'all be being with here.